Hello friends, this is Kiran Sears. You are watching me on KCS classes for Commerce and Management. Today we can discuss some of the expected MCQs for the examination lecture in Commerce. We can start with marginal costing. Marginal costing. It is one of the important topics for the examination. We can expect minimum two questions from this from this topic. So before going to the MCQs, a small introduction for the topic marginal costing. The cost can be ascertained with the help of mainly two techniques in that the number one technique is absorption costing, number two is marginal costing. Under the case of, in the case of absorption costing, we are considering total cost uh, for the ascertainment of cost. That means we are considering both fixed cost and variable cost. But in the case of marginal costing, we are considering only variable cost. That means the rising a differentiation between fixed cost and variable cost. So that's the peculiarity of marginal costing. So for managerial decision making, managers can use marginal costing technique. Mainly four elements is there for the breakdown of a total sales. The number one, fixed cost. Number two, variable cost. Number three, profit. Number four, sales. From these four elements, the rising marginal cost equation. So we can discuss marginal cost equation. Number one, sales minus variable cost. That's the first equation. Sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution. Then contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit. So this is marginal cost equation and marginal cost statement. So that's the important word contribution, the rising important word contribution. So we want to know about contribution. So, contribution is the reward that is gained by an entrepreneur or an owner, but it is not profit. It includes both fixed cost and profits. So, that is actually contribution. Okay. So, from contribution, you want to know contribution ratio also. Contribution ratio is also known as PV ratio, profit volume ratio. We can find out PV ratio with the help of this simple formula contribution divided by sales into 100. So, with the help of marginal costing equation and PV ratio, we can find out break even sales, margin of safety, sales security, and a profit, a desired profit. All these calculations we can easily possible with the help of word marginal cost equation. Okay, so next we can uh, go through four important expected MCQs. So, first question when deciding to accept a special order at below the normal selling price. A firm would consider which cost? The option number one, absorption cost. Option number two, marginal cost. Option number three, full cost. Option number four, overhead cost. So the answer, first of all, we can go through the question again. When deciding to accept a special order as below the normal selling price, a firm would consider which cost? Already I explained under marginal costing technique, we want to consider only marginal cost. So the answer is option number B, marginal cost. Okay. So moving to second question, a decrease in sales price. The first option does not affect the PEP. Second one, lowers net profit. Third one, increases BEP. And fourth one, lowers the BEP. So the answer is what? There is an in, uh, inverse relationship between sales price and BEP. That means when sales price increases, BEP should decrease. When sales price decreases, BEP should increase. So there is an inverse relationship between sales price and BEP. So the answer should be increases the BEP. That means option C. So going to third question. The question is if PV ratio of a company is 40% sales volume is 2 lakh and margin of safety is 30% then net profit will be four options number one 20,000 number two 22,000 number three 26,000 number four 24,000 so question is what net profit will be so we want to calculate what profit so there's an equation margin of safety is equal to profit divided by PV ratio so here PV ratio it is 40 percentage margin of safety it is 30 percentage so margin of safety is 30 percentage of what? Sales. Here sales it is 2 lakh. So margin of safety will be 2 lakh into 30 by 100. That is 60,000. 
okay so we want to calculate what profit so for calculating profit profit is equal to margin of safety into pv ratio so 60000 into 40 percentage so the answer will be 24000 the option d so moving to last question fixed cost 2 lakh sales 8 lakh pv ratio 30 percentage what will be the amount of profit four option number one 50,000, number 2, 40,000, number 3, 35,000, number 4, 45,000. So, we want to calculate what profit. So, profit is equal to what? Contribution minus fixed cost. Here, we want to calculate what contribution. Here, sales is equal to 8 lakh. So, sales into PV ratio is equal to contribution. Okay. So, 8 lakh into 30 percentage is equal to 2 lakh 40,000. That is contribution. So, for calculating profit, contribution minus fixed cost. So, 2 lakh 40,000 minus 2 lakh is equal to 40,000. So, the answer is option B, 40,000. So, I think all of you uh, correctly understood uh, the four MCQs and its explanation. So, we can discuss next topic in the next class. Have a nice day. Thank you. This is Kiran CS signing off.